feeling you get. You know, excited to see everybody. I'm excited to see what the team's about. You know, we got a lot of uh, young guys who first NFL game. So, you know, I'm excited to see them go out there and ball out. And I'm excited to see this new team we have this year, you know, put it all together and uh, see what we do uh, 12 o'clock on Sunday. Baker Mayfield, what do you see when you see him? Uh, you know, I just see a player who's been in the league. You know, he's been around. Uh, He's played some good football too, but you know, at the end of the day, you know, he's coming to try to beat us, and you know, we got to take it, you know, with the right mindset. And, you know, I think uh, we're ready, and I think we're going to give, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people something to watch on Sunday. What, you know, how do you tell though when you know you guys have a few scrimmages and you know, but it's hard, it's hard to know yeah. going. In. How do you, how do you get a gut feel? <laughs> I think uh, defense-wise, I mean, we go against I think one of the best offenses in the league. You know, we got Justin Jefferson, Kirk Cousins, T.J. Hawkinson. So you know, I think going against those guys, and you know, then you bring in two teams who are. Uh, you know, almost 180 degree difference, you know, with Tennessee and Arizona, you know, you get to see yourself against teams like that. So I think, you know, those tests we, we have, you know, the things KO has done to put us in positions to feel like we're in the game, you know, in practice, I think those helped a lot. You know, it helped us build confidence heading into week one. How did you feel about being named the captain? Oh, it was amazing. I think uh, that's the highest honor you could get, you know, especially, you know, from your teammates. When we vote, you know, I think my uh, first two years in the league, we didn't vote for captain. It was, I think, a kind of a coach thing. And, you know, this year, these past two years, you know, being voted, especially by your peers, the guys where it mattered the most, I think that's uh, the highest honor you can get. You know, I'm extremely grateful and I'm extremely proud to be a captain of this team. Josh, what is in this for real? Uh, you know, it's just like all the work that we've been putting in since uh, OTAs and leading up to now. Um, it's finally here, and we get to go out there as a team um, and, and show what showcase the 2023 Vikings. How can you tell if the offensive line is where you want it to be, or do you not know until the first half or the first quarter of the first game? Uh, you kind of really, you kind of get that feeling when we had those two joint practices this year and going against uh, another unit. Um, we kind of, kind of figuring ourselves out, but we're definitely ready to roll. What did last year do for this team in terms of time? the champions coming in division. Oh yeah, we know what we uh, accomplished last year, but uh, last year's behind us and we got a new team this year and we're ready to roll. Um, but we know the sky's the limit. We're taking this thing one week at a time and we'll see where we end up. Alexander Madison is a never down back. What do you see? Uh, I love Deuce. Um, him, Todd Chandler in the backfield, uh, it's going to be a lot of playmaking. Just everything, footwork, hand placement, um, the mental side of the game. Sorry about that. Uh, and really, I probably say the mental side of the game for for sure. Um, just really like breaking down my opponent and figuring out just different ways and different techniques that I see that he's not comfortable with and things like that. So just just trying to take that into my game next year. Christian, what's the best part of it finally being game week again? Oh man, just all of us going out there and playing together. Uh, we've been practicing against each other. Uh, just having these joint practices now, the scores really matter, and we're keeping tabs of it, and we'll go out here and get a chance to go one and all. <laughs> nah, just uh, taking the time, being in that hotel, just locked in, turn off the TV, turn off the phone, and just kind of just go back to school. Just lock in flashcards, a lot of that. So, what's your impression of the Vikings' offense, and you know how, how does it? Is it similar to what you've run in the past? What is it? Similar, but uh, just just a little bit different culture. Everybody seems just kind of really positive. Everybody seems like a big family, so it's really exciting just to come here and be a part of this already. So it's very welcoming. So you've seen some opening days before. What's an opening day like? Opening day. Opening you know, that first game. Uh, I think it's going to be different. I mean, Miami, kind of different than coming here. I know. I know the fans out here are crazy, so I'm, I'm excited for that part. I'm excited for the the electricity and and. Uh, in the stadium this Sunday. So. And that skull chant you're waiting to hear, huh? Yeah, I've heard a lot of things about it. I haven't been able to play here, so uh, it, it's going to be different. It's going to be different for me, so I'm excited for it. This is officially now game week. Um, I would just say the excitement, you know, just to be able to test ourselves, especially, you know, this come Sunday. Uh, you know, we get to go through this week, really, how would I say, cement our process, you know, keep building upon it, and then, you know, just go out there and take that test. How do you channel the energy of game day still six days away, but it is game week and that excitement level does start to climb. Mm, I'm personally not a good one to ask on how I channel it, but you know, I try to, how to say, keep like a peaceful, at least towards myself, a peaceful ascent as I'm getting to the game week. So, you know, like catch me tomorrow, I'll probably be better and then, you know, yeah, keep on going. How vanilla was the defense in the preseason? How much more will be on earth starting on Sunday? I said vanilla. Dang. Um, well, presumably, hmm. you tell me. Maybe it wasn't all that vanilla, but I imagine a lot more will be on earth starting Sunday. Uh, vanilla is just, you know, how some people describe things. Uh, hmm. 
It's one of those things you just have to see. So, you know, I can't really say much, you know. Why would I? <laughs> Marcus, what's the best part of it finally being game week? That we got a game? Yeah, man. Uh, the best part really that we get to go out there and, you know, put our talents and, you know, really just do what we've been training for this whole time. You know, we brought together a great cast and it's really time to go put on that play. Um, it's incredible, you know, the amount of preparation that you put in, um, you know, in the first four or five weeks uh, in training camp and then to be able to come here for this week. Um, you know, we're, we're just all excited to get back out there on the turf and, and play an actual opponent. So it's, it, it'll, be a, it'll be a blast for us. And I know everyone in this locker room is starting to get a little antsy. So. Because of the way that it sets up, you've got two weeks basically to prepare for Tampa. What, what, what do you see as you start to look at their defense and try to, you know, assimilate a, a, a scouting report? Yeah, I mean, that's always just a different um, realm than where we've been. You know, throughout training camp, you're in your own playbook worrying about yourself. And then now, you know, you get to start a game plan and start to uh, see what they do and, and be able to, you know, utilize and, and, and work with our personnel throughout that. And so, um, you know, it's just a different mindset. And uh, it's, it's fun to be able to get into the meeting room and, and, you know, you see some things come in and you see, uh, you know, what we're trying to do. And, and that's just always the, the fun part about the season. When you get you know, your cousins, obviously, and you know, Edison now, and, and Osborne keeps getting better, and yourself, and of course, Jefferson speaks for itself. How exciting is that to think you're going to spread them out, move it on, and you know, you've got all these different weapons that if you get open, you're going to get the ball? Yeah, I mean, that's uh, incredible. And, you know, uh, Kirk does a great job, um, you know, with reading through his progressions, uh, understanding where guys are. And, and you know, you, you could be on the backside of a concept, but he'll get to you because the uh, the defense allows for that, you know. So it's uh, it's incredible to be able to play with a quarterback like that that, that uses all, uh, all of his receivers and uh, understands his progressions and understands that, uh, you know, what the defense will give you and, and, and attacks it that way. So. Uh, it's great to play with eight and, and to be in there with that. How creative is Uh Yeah, I mean, he, you know, he he's very creative. I mean, it's uh, you know that's kind of the the league right now is there's there's a lot of people moving around, a lot of motions, a lot of um, you know reads for us as the offense to be able to see what the defense is doing, be able to address it is what we call it, you know, and so um, you know very very. Creative in that way, you know. I mean, he, he's just—he's a great coach. I mean, I love playing under Ko, and uh, you know, to see the things that he's done throughout my, just my time here has been incredible. So, TJ, what's the most exciting aspect of this year's schedule? Um, I mean, you know, we got a lot of primetime games. I guess is that's the, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, obviously, we're really just worried about this week to right now, and then we can. We can look at those later on, but you know when that when that first came out, it was pretty sweet to see that we were on prime time. You know, me, in my previous years, you know that was that was a tough fight to get. So uh, to be able to, to to do that and to be in, in the situ this situation is, is pretty sweet. Yeah, I feel great. Uh, you know, I mean, just ready to roll. Uh, you know, ready to get back out there and uh, you know really start to hone in for this week. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, it's back in back in game week. Um, it's more familiar, actually, so it's kind of nice. Um, you know what to expect, especially year two with these coaches. Um, Monday is kind of laying the groundwork. We'll have Tuesday off, and then Wednesday um, we'll hit it running. So uh, we know what to expect. We know the schedule. We know by the end of the week we'll know our opponent. Um, and so it's just trying to pick back right where we left off. How high are your expectations this year? You know, I, you want to set expectations for yourself, right? So it's just – we're trying to take it one week at a time. We, we have goals, we have end of season goals, but um, you can't get there if you don't focus uh, on the task at hand. Okay, but that task at hand, I mean, just everything excite you about? Yeah, like, Even going no, back to March when absolutely. you made the decision, you could have gone elsewhere and yeah, you decided to absolutely. come back here. No, it's, this locker room's unbelievable. Everyone in this organization is. I love playing here, I love playing with the guys up front that I get to play with. Um, I feel like we're gonna have a great year and I'm excited to um, show people on Sunday. Garrett, what's the best part of it finally being game week? You get to do it for real, right? You know, you're not just hitting your D lineman every, every week and the monotony of fall camp. Um, this is what we work for. This is what we have nine weeks of OTAs for and six weeks of fall camp, all for this. You know, get, getting to play in U.S. Bank in front of all our fans. Um, that's what you do it for, right? You know, Sundays Sundays are just for fun, right? That's coaches. That's when the coaches say it's it's a player's time to play. Um, and so we're just we're excited to show the work we put in um, and see how we're going to continually get better. 
just say how much y'all think ramp up is starting today. Um, I say from a mental a mental part, this is where it's starting at. We got to make sure we take care of today to make sure we can do what we want to do on Sunday. So today is that day, like it's game week, so it's starting to handle them business. What do you plan on doing on Sunday in your first official NFL game? I just want to accomplish my goals that I set for myself. I don't want to put no any any stat or any numbers out there. You know, I got the, I got goals that I, I got set for myself for each week. So this week, I want to make sure I handle that, and then just make sure I'm out. To, I'm, I'm I'm making successful plays for my teammates to make sure we come out with this dub. What's the best part of it finally being game week. The best part we finally get out, get to go out there and show what we've been working for. Do you have any? I mean. Played at high level, obviously in college. Do you think it's going to be a lot different in the regular season of the NFL? A lot the same. What, 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 what do you anticipate? I'm anticipating for it to be a lot different. You know, I've been out here practicing with, you know, against the NFL defense the whole camp. So I'm expecting it to be like that, but just a little bit more, a little bit faster since it's, since it's live and then a little bit more physical. What does Kirk tell you? What does Kirk tell me? Yeah, what you mean? About, about the first game and what it's going to be like. Does he say much? I mean, he, get open. Nah, he ain't saying too much to me, but I'm gonna make sure I get open for him just to make it just to make it easier on him. Cause I know just being out there and playing that quarterback position is real, really difficult. So I'm gonna just try to make it as easy on him as possible. Jordan, wherever you take the biggest strides, you know, through training camp. I say I just one my confidence. You know, just coming playing on this level is a little bit a lot different than college. So just first off, just making them plays against these guys, the number one, the number one corners. And then I just say, you know, like my my um, coming out of the huddle and then coming out and then lining up on the ball, my urgency. So my sense of urgency playing at this level. Was there a moment in training camp you talked about the confidence that you're like, yeah, I belong here? Mm, I say a little bit towards the end of the first week. So after that first week, that's when I started to really feel like I was able to get comfortable at this level. You get a chance to achieve a lifelong dream on Sunday, playing your first ever NFL regular season game. What's the most exciting thing about that? Really just going out there and suiting up in this Viking gear. You know, as a kid, I, this is where I always wanted to be, to play in the NFL. I never know what, te what team it was going to be, but now that it's the Vikings, it's like I get to go put that logo on and really live that dream. So I'm going to make sure I go out there and do that, and I'm going to have a whole lot of fun. Would you be lining up all over the place? Like, presumably what we saw in preseason was pretty vanilla. How much more will we see starting on Sunday? We're going to see what's in the game plan. <laughs> We're going to see what's in the game plan. Jordan, obviously Justin garners so much attention. What excites you about the fact that if he's getting doubled, you're going to be kind of singled up one-on-one? -on -one? Right. That's that's what excites me right there, to get that one-on-one -on -one matchup. Like you said, I know he's going to take a lot of attention. So really all I got to do is make sure I win my one-on-one -on -one and catch the ball.